Why dominance is an important concept to understand and also understand how it applies to and will affect your pistol shooting. So eye dominance is a concept that we actually have a dominant eye, either our right eye or our left eye. Some people don't have a dominant eye, but almost everybody does. So let's talk about how you determine which eye is your dominant eye. A simple test is if you take your pointer finger and place it over an object. Now go ahead and close your left eye. Now if your finger is on the object that you have your finger over, and that means your right eye dominant. To confirm, keeping your finger on that same object, if you close your right eye, you'll see your finger actually shifts off what your finger is pointing at. Now, I'm right-handed, and so I will want to shoot with my right hand. Now, and I'm also right eye dominant, so if you happen to be right-handed and right eye dominant, or left-handed and left eye dominant, then things are going to be easy for you. Now, in the event that you're right-handed but you're left eye dominant, here's where things can get a little interesting for you, or if you happen to be vice versa. So, typically speaking, when you're aiming a pistol, for beginners, I recommend keeping your non-dominant eye closed, so keeping your right eye open. And so, if you are cross-dominant, your choices are, you know, keep your left eye open and you can simply shift your head or another option is you would actually move the gun over in front of your left eye. Now if you happen to be cross dominant you can try shooting with your non-dominant eye so for example if you're right-handed and your left eye dominant you can try closing your left eye and still shooting with your right eye or you can try switching it up Ultimately, you should try different ways, and at the end of the day, whatever is most comfortable for you is what you should stick with. So now that you understand eye dominance and how to determine your dominant eye and how it applies to your pistol marksmanship, you can head off to the range and practice. And always remember that firearm safety begins with you.